special edition, we will be talking about what it means to be a mensch and how we recognize them here at the community day. When you think of being a mensch, you think of a good person. After you watch this special edition, you will know what being a mensch really is and how you can be a mensch. Mr. Harris Gershom is a Judaica teacher here at Community Day. We are happy to have him as a special guest to this edition to explain what a mensch is and how we can all try to be one. What does being a mensch mean to you? Being a mensch. Being a mensch means to me not only being respectful to either students or teachers, but being a mensch also means to me standing up for students who might need to be, might need to have support, like somebody who's being made fun of or somebody who needs help with homework. So being a mensch is, is supporting or standing, standing up for somebody in the community. What do, what do you give mensch cards for? I give mensch cards, I give mensch cards for people for students who stand up for others if they're being picked on. I give mensch cards for students who help others when they need help, whether it's homework or having the door open for them. And I give mensch cards for students who are being overly respectful when other people may not be, as an example. What do you like about the mensch program? I like the fact that I can recognize people with something tangible that I can give them to show them my appreciation. Why do people want to get bench cards? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I'm not a student, so I'm not sure why um, somebody might want to get a bench card, but I can guess that maybe students appreciate being recognized, and a bench card is an immediate recognition that they can point to and say, I did this, and can show other people. Just get up. Thank you, Mr. HG. This is a mensch card. A mensch card is given by teachers to students when they are doing good deeds. For example, a student could get a mensch card if they hold the door for someone, they help them pick up their drop books, or show some other positive behavior. When you get a mensch card, it counts for your tribe. There are 12 tribes, and they are um, the sons of Jacob, and all the students in the school are members of one of the tribes. Tribes are made up of students in kindergarten through eighth grade. The tribe that has the Munch Mensch card at the end of each week gets recognized at a full school Kabbalat Shabbat services. This is a preview of our Friday services. CDS students about the Mensch Project and what they have received Mensch cards for. Hey Alex, have you ever gotten a Mensch card and what for? Um, I did and I got it for picking up a pencil for a friend. Have you ever gotten a Mensch card and what for? Well, I did and I held the door open for Miss Henderson. Have you ever gotten a Mensch card and what for? Um, I once got a Mensch card for staying behind in the classroom and helping someone pick things up that they dropped. Have you ever gotten a mensch card and what for? Um, yes, I have gotten a mensch card. Um, one time when my class was being really loud and the teacher told us to quiet down and silent read, I was the only one that um, silent read. Go. Have you ever gotten a mensch card and what for? Yes, for being respectful to my teacher. Have you ever gotten a mensch card and what for? Yes, and so, so once, once, um, two kids were really confused in music class, and I, I showed them, I showed them what the names were. So they Thank you, Al. Before we go to Z's random funny fact of the week, we would like to introduce our new cast member to the teen theme crew. Hi, I'm Carly. Now to Z's random funny fact of the week. Did you know Jedi is an official religion with over 70,000 followers in Australia? Thank you, Z. Thanks for watching our Teen Scene Special Edition. Tune in to next week for all new exciting episodes. See you next time on Teen Scene. Bye!